we have, unlike most other languages, a three-tiered vocabulary. At the base are these one-syllable earthy words that are Anglo-Saxon, more romantically and richly at times of the French, and then the Latin and Greek, rise, mount, ascend, ask, question, interrogate, Anglo-Saxon, French, classical. And each of us in our lives follows that history. Each of us relives the history of the English language. We don't remember learning words like man, woman, sun, moon, you know. But words like uh, paradox and uh, psychology, we sort of remember we didn't know those early on. Each of us follows the history of the language in our own lives. And the good writer, the skillful writer, knows even if he or she doesn't know the etymological base of each word, that you essentially write the Anglo-Saxon, and then when a Latin or Greek word works best, use it and it gleams in its setting. And the more of those words you know, the richer your vocabulary would be.